What do you like best about your motorcycle? I built it. Yeah, I guess it goes with just piling on long miles, staying comfortable, you know. It's, it's a big bike. You know, I've had smaller bikes too, but you know, when you're on a really long ride, there's nothing like a, a bike that just pampers you and you just, you know, you deal with the traveling. Um, you know, it's got an adjustable suspension. It's got the windscreen that's going to protect you from the wind. And, the, and it, you can see it's really filthy. I actually just got back from Mexico two days ago. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and, and came through some pretty heavy rainstorms. Now comes this other one. I don't even need the fuse, hold, the fuse puller now. Okay, there's a couple things wrong with this. What do we have? First it was loose, so I'm going to pinch it together a little and tighten it. And then, it's just kind of corroded. You can see it's dull colored. Now I'm going to get out all the stuff I use to, to polish up a fuse holder. Now, when you have dull metal like this, there's a couple ways to go about it simplest ways with an old pocket knife. You just scrape on it gently. You don't want to use sandpaper if you can help it or grind it because little bits of metal will be included or little bit, bits of grinding powder will be included in it. But you can get away with it though. It's something you can do. And I'm showing you the way to use ultra simple tools. And we are getting a good, a good uh, shiny metal out of it. But I want to show you something else which I'd really highly recommend. It's the best possible way to clean terminals. This works. Everyone's got a pocket knife. It works. But I'm going to go to my favorite. About 60 bucks, you can get this Dremel Moto Tool Kit. Any hardware store. And in the Moto Tool Kit, or as an accessory, you can find a buffing wheel. Install the buffing wheel onto it. You plug it in, and you get the buffing wheel covered in this red garbage that they call rouge. It's wax impregnated with grinding compound. You can get all this at the hardware store. It's no big deal. But look what it'll do for you. The roost turns dark as it gets filled with metal. All right, so now it's covered with goobers. Here's what you do about that. You just wipe it all off. Q-tips are handy for the middle thi of things. And you can see already, it's an incredible finish where I've got the stuff off. So I'm going to keep on this job. Looks like it could use a little bit more attention on the inside. Well, that's not perfect, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> I'm expecting that this fuse holder will find a way to pass a lot of current without getting hot itself. A shiny fuse holder, a tight fuse holder, is a, is a cool one. 
and cool's always good. Somehow that one's a little better, but that is what I'm talking about. Take a look at that. Solid gold, or rather brass. Just as well, I tighten them up a little. I grease them, grease the fuse. Eh, the fuse doesn't look the best either. Alright, fuses are sort of disposable, but it's worth your while to clean it up. You don't need to do that if, this if it's brand new, as long as you grease it real soon. But this fuse is getting a little old. So I'm going to shine it up. Remember the, the principles of good electrical connections. Anything metal is shiny and hopefully coated with dielectric grease. You don't need a lot. Now, which way did the wires go in? Look at that, I just got lost. Usually it's easy. The short wire goes to the near place and the long wire goes to the far place. You just kind of learn how to read these things. I'm going to put these fuse holders on outside the block just because I think it's going to be easier. And here's the little trough for the wire. You kind of get into the engineer's head. Now, here is another thing you should note. This is an old, I forget what they call them. Uh, this is an older Japanese size fuse that's not used in any other places. It's a little on the short side. This is a normal American one and a quarter inch fuse. It's clear from the spacing between the clips that it was built for the Japanese style fuse. Uh, so if, if you possibly can, you should replace it with the same size of fuse. But one handy thing about glass fuses is that usually you can spread the connectors apart and get in a bigger fuse. Or at least often you can, and this guy did. Um, I don't like it, but it's going to work. So I'll put this one back together and call it done. Now you might discover that you made a mistake by doing that. You might someday lose some of your electrical functions and I should actually show you. Um, this blue fuse, the fuse that might be going bad, is the headlight. Often the headlight goes with the tail light, so if you've got a problem where your head and tail light weren't working suddenly, you should look here first because that fuse was the wrong size. That's, that's a little bit more liable to fail than the rest of them. Good, good fuse, bad fuse. Bad fuse came apart in the middle, it burned up. That means something on this line took too much current. The most, ob the most common reason for a blown fuse is that a wire was bare someplace and touched the frame. Let's look at the main fuse, this replacement here. The fuse itself looks pretty good. Pretty good, not perfect. Let's see about the two contacts. They're both pretty good, not perfect, but this is the main fuse. We don't want to leave this thing neglected. So I'm going to polish everything important about that. And you notice the inline fuse holder, you can usually push the wires right out to get to those things. Now look at that. Nice mirror shiny. That's what you want. Mirror shiny. Really shiny. Be fussy. Electrical contacts. I mean, a lot of people are mystified by electricity. They're a little intimidated by it. 
But what I've found is you don't have to understand a whole lot to keep your system going. I don't have to know where this thing goes. I don't have to know much about electrons or whatever. All I know is if it's an electrical contact, it needs to be shiny and greased. And that's all you need to know. I mean, look at this. And just in the process of messing with the electrical system, setting things straight, just knowing that the battery's got to be filled, that the contacts have to be shiny, we've already solved a couple of potential problems that we would would have run into sometime anyway because of that dirty fuse holder. And now we've found a blown fuse. The spike wasn't running, it was trailer here. Maybe that blown fuse is part of the problem. Just looking through the basics can really pay off and you don't even have to understand much except shiny and clean and greased. That was fun. As with any electrical connection, the bottom line is fuses need to be clean, shiny, and preferably lightly greased with silicone dielectric grease. Fuse holders need all that and need to be tight around the fuse and restrained from metal-on-metal -metal contact with anything else. As you saw outside, there are various techniques to accomplish these goals. Cleaning contacts is done by scraping or polishing off the dirt or corrosion. This can be done in a low-tech way, like with a pocket knife, or a more sophisticated way, like with a polishing head and rouge. Grinding and sanding are not recommended because those processes are prone to leaving relatively large grit embedded in the metal. This elevates the parts away from each other and reduces contact area. Just like a dirty or corroded connection, that invites the cycle of galvanic corrosion where resistive heating and a charge across the joint accelerate the corrosion of the connection. Once you have a clean connection, it's good to make sure that enough pressure between the fuse holder and the fuse exists. This keeps the connection consistent in vibrating conditions and helps keep out impurities. The final step is to seal the connection from air and water. The most practical way to do this is with silicone dielectric grease. Once you've taken these steps with your fuses and the rest of your core electrical system, your motorcycle will be more reliable, your lights brighter, and the problems it does have will be easier to solve.